All right, so this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create different layers so that way you can actually change the opacity of some of your colors so that those colors start to overlap and interact with each other and mix to make your secondary colors. Um, I'm only going to be working with primary colors, okay? So I'm only going to be working with yellow, red, and blue. But because I have the opacity of those colors overlapping, what's going to end up happening is since it's see-through, it's transparent, it's actually going to blend with the color that's underneath it, and it's going to start to look more like those secondary colors, the orange, the purple, and the green. So of course, if you have a drawing that's already on your paper or on your drawing space, make sure that you click your main menu, select new sketch, save it if you need to save it. I don't need to save this, so I'm just going to click don't save. Always make sure that you zoom out so that way you can see your drawing space completely. And then always make sure you know which brush you have selected to draw with. So I'm going to go to my pencil and I'm actually going to select black because I'm just going to be drawing the outline of my shapes. Okay, I'm actually going to be drawing some Halloween themed shapes. Okay, so in order for us to make these colors and these shapes opaque or have opacity, I'm actually going to open up my layer editor so I can see the layers that I'm working in. We're actually going to be working with different layers today. Okay. So if you notice right now, I have one layer and a background layer. So the background layer, we can't chain, we can't erase it, we can't move it. It stays here at the bottom because that's our background. So this first layer that I've created, this is the first layer that I'm going to be drawing on. So anything I start drawing on, it's always on the first layer. So the first thing I'm going to draw is just a little outline of a ghost. Okay, I'm not going to draw super, super detailed. I'm just going to draw something simple. Okay. And always make sure, since it's a shape, that it does completely connect. Now, I'm a little annoyed by the little piece that's right there, so I'm just going to erase it. Okay, But just make sure that you do go back to your pencil so that you can draw. Okay, So this is our first layer. In order for us to work with the opacity of our colors, we have to be able to color in our entire shape. Now. An easy way to do this without ending up coloring out of the lines is to use your layers. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my fill. I'm going to fill in my ghost shape with just the black. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to the layer that I have my ghost on. And I'm going to click this little lock button to lock my layer completely. So what's going to happen is... Since I'm locking it, I only have access to this information that has the black, okay? So I'm going to go down to my paintbrush that's just here on the left-hand side. I'm going to double-click on it so that way I can see the brush properties because what I want to do is I want to adjust the size, make it smaller or bigger. I also want to adjust the opacity. So usually the opacity is going to be at 100%. If you've already changed it before, it'll have a different opacity percentage, but I'm going to actually bring it back down to maybe about, we'll say about 50, okay, 50%. Since I'm using, I'm going to move my face over. Since I'm using primary colors, I'm going to make sure that I use the primary colors. So I don't want black selected, I want yellow selected, okay. Notice the yellow doesn't look as bright on my brush properties as it does over here in the color editor. And that's because I've changed the opacity. So what's gonna end up happening when I color this yellow with 50% opacity, it's actually going to start filling in with that space of the black, the color of the black mixing with it. So as you can see, it's creating like a dark yellow, okay? Since this is my first color, I really don't have to change the opacity, but I just showed you so that way you know how to do it. So I'm going to go back to the full 100% opacity, so that way I have that nice bright yellow. And notice, I'm coloring outside of the shape of my little ghost, but it's only filling in the space 
that had the black. So that locking of the layer really, really helps you guys. So that way you don't have to worry about coloring outside of the lines. Okay. All right. So that's the first shape. Okay. I'm going to add a second shape, but I don't want it to be on the same layer. Okay. So leave that layer locked just in case. I'm going to click this little plus button to add a layer in my layer editor. And then I'm going to add another shape and it's going to draw it and show it on this layer. So I'm going to zoom over here just to this space here. I'm going to draw like a witch's hat. Ooh, always remember what brush tool you are using. Don't do what I did. Okay. So I'm also going to go back to the black and I'm going to draw my witch's hat. Okay. Keep in mind, again, that while you are drawing these shapes, make sure that these shapes, okay, make sure that they are completely closed. So you want to make sure that you don't leave any space. If you leave an open space, it's not going to work. So we need to actually completely close it, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do again, right, just like we did for the first layer, I'm going to fill in all of that space. Okay, all of the space for my little witch's hat. All right, so now it's a black hat. Okay, the next step we have to do again is to go ahead and lock that layer. Okay, I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick a different primary color. Okay, so if I pick this primary color of blue, okay. And now I can color the blue. All right. Okay. So I didn't change the opacity for this one. If you want to change the opacity, you can. It just ends up making it look a little bit darker because you're mixing it with the black background. Okay. What we're going to do next, all right, since I have my two layers, I'm going to unlock my layers so that they are there and they are ready to be edited. What I want to do is move one of my shapes to overlap on the other shape. So I'm going to use this four arrows transform button. And since I have the touch screen, I can use my fingers to touch it or I can drag it using the mouse pad and it will move actually that layer. Okay. Whatever layer you have selected, that is what it's going to move. So make sure you know which layer you are on. It'll always show this blue like square around it because that's the layer that's going to move. So I'm going to be moving the hat. Okay. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to use my finger. All I'm going to do is bring that hat over and I'm going to overlap my little ghost. I don't want to completely overlap it because I still want to see those original primary colors, okay? Once it's in the position that I want, I'll just click the little check mark, okay? So I still have my two layers, but you can see on my drawing space, it's actually overlapped, whereas my two layers just shows them independently, okay? When we are going to change the opacity for these colors of an object, the easiest way to do it when we're using layers is if you look at your layer, you have this toggle that goes vertically up and down. You can actually take that toggle, drag it down, and that actually change, changes the opacity of just that layer. Okay, so it kind of adjusts it for us. So we can see we've got the blue and we've got the yellow, but is this really making green? So we have to kind of think about which layer needs to be on top in order for that opacity to change. So if we change the opacity of the yellow, it doesn't really do anything. The blue, it kind of just makes it darker. So I'm going to move them back to their original opacity. What I want to do now, because blue on top of yellow isn't working, I want to take my layer of the blue and I want to click it and drag it down underneath the ghost layer okay keep in mind all right don't click these little circles that are here in the center because then it's going to give you these other options and if you drag down it's in a 
merge with the layer that's below it and we don't want to merge it. So what we want to do is click off to the side. I usually click off to the right. Click and hold and then you're going to drag it down until it pops underneath the layer you want to bring it to. Okay, so be careful if you have a lot of layers. It kind of like drags it very quickly and throws them up all over the place. So just be aware of that. Okay, so I'm going to go to my ghost layer. Now I'm going to change the opacity of that ghost layer. Okay, so now we can actually see that once I start changing the opacity with the yellow on top, that it's actually starting to actually look more green than actual like dark blue. Okay. So keep that in mind, all right? I'm going to change the opacity just a little bit more. I'll leave it there, okay? So that's how we do the opacity with our objects, making sure that they are transparent so that way we can see the two colors mixing. And you also want to keep in mind, too, where your layers are located, if they're above or below each other, so that way you can actually create those secondary colors using your primary colors. Okay. Once you're finished, of course, you guys are going to add um, enough of those layers and objects so that you get all three of your secondary colors. So I did blue and yellow, which makes green. Make sure you do blue and red to make purple, and then yellow and red to make orange. So you should have three sets of objects that are Halloween themed to kind of show the overlapping to make the secondary colors. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and click the main menu. Remember, if you save it, if you are just clicking save, all it's going to do is save it as a sketchbook file. Before turning it in, we want to click export so that it saves it as an image file and not just a regular sketchbook file. So I'm just going to click export. I'm going to name this Albers. Oops. Halloween drawing. Okay. Saving it in my digital artwork folder, which is in my pictures folder. Saving it as a JPEG. And I'll click save. Okay. So now it tells me the save has been successful and I can upload it into Schoology.